right, my friends. Goodness gracious. Anybody know the console command to turn off biters? Or at least make them to stop spawning? Uh, just have to get your corpse within the first 50 minutes. All right, let me go grab that before I lose it. Does anybody know? Anybody know how you do that? You're looking up how to turn down biters. Okay. I don't care if they spawn. I just don't want them to re spread into my thing every time I clear them out. What do I want to edit for biters? I don't want them to keep spreading. I want them to stop spreading. Once I clear them out, I don't want them to spawn again in the same place over and over. That makes them peaceful. I kind of want to at least for a while have it be peaceful because it's pissing me off. I can't get anything done when my base is this big, which I'm forced to do because the resources are all spread out. And uh, I, I just, I can never get anything done. Uh, where is, where is my corpse? I probably even need my tank. God damn it. Uh, let me like aggro them. Oh god, is this going to kill me? Okay. Ah, oh, now I have to. I can't even get to it, can I? Where? Where the hell even is it? Is my corpse dead? My cor corpse dead doesn't even make sense. Okay, there it is. I see it. I right, pick up everything. Is there? There we go. Is my corpse dead? Quick answer, yes. Second answer, that's a stupid question. All right. Let's see game app settings. Oh, I have to go into a. Wait. I thought there was a console command. Pretty sure I picked up everything. Yeah. Yeah. Pushing the walls out beyond pollution. Yeah, every single thing that I could do to reduce it is going to take hours. And that's the issue. That is the console command. Okay, so C game.map underscore settings dot enem enemy underscore expansion dot enabled equals false. Is that right? Please repeat the command to proceed. Jesus. Yeah, let me let me copy and paste it instead. Ugh. Disable achievements. Okay, so they'll stop attacking me for a while, right? <laughs> yeah, it says it disables achievements. Have the train run over me first. Now, well, I'll turn it back on eventually, but for now, I'm just, I'm so sick. Tired of these things attacking me. So let's test it. Let me see if that's going to stop them from attacking. So I can get something done. I'll turn it back on once I can actually get some defenses upgraded. Are the achievements disabled forever now? Well, you know, if I cared about achievements, maybe I'd care about that, but... I mean... They're still attacking me. Oh my god, am I gonna die again? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hey, look how peaceful it is! What the hell, man? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have a cookie. I, I am not having a good time right now. No, I just wanted them to stop expanding. Even on peace will they aggro you if you attack their nest? Well, I didn't attack. I was just in their range, so I don't, I don't understand the different settings in this game, apparently. Where's my tank? 
It's way the hell over there. Jesus. Bases don't expand, but pollution still attracts them. Well, the bases will stop expanding, that's what I want. Because I can clear them out, at least, and, and they won't be back fucking 30 minutes later. That's, that's, that's what's pissing me off. I cleared these guys out, like, less than an hour ago. And there are already three more gigantic bases. Like, that's frustrating. I can't, I can't get any work done. Because every time I try to do anything, they destroy half my defenses. And that's not, I don't want, that's not what I want to spend my time on, is, you know, defensive shit right now. I'd like to work on other stuff. Oh god, they, they get through there and kill that. Alright, where's my, where's my body? Here it is. You need to open your world up to your viewers to kill better lighterness for you, viewer uh viewer militia. Hmm. Do you do anything with bug car bug carcasses? No, not as, as far as I know, no. Okay, my car is here. Hopefully that will stop the spread and it'll be not such a big pain in the ass to deal with. Let me go. I get my uh Did I keep the shit that I built built earlier? All right, two centrifuges. Let me go do something with nuclear. I want to get something done, man. Oh my god, I can't. It's like I can't get anything done when these friggin' biters are just constantly attacking everywhere. Oh my god. I mentioned I don't like the vehicles in this game. I don't like the vehicles in this game. Spider-Tron is almost done, though. Maybe Spider-Tron will change my mind. I literally cannot get anywhere with this damn thing. <sighs> Where are my construction bots? Do I lose those when I die or some shit? Like... Oh my god, I'm so frustrated right now. Goddamn frustrated with this game right now. Excuse me. Goodness. Imagine how fast my car would be with that. Okay, what's happening? Bet you can't build planes. All right, so what do we want to do with uh, nuclear? Do we want to set up nuclear power? I know that's a big, giant project and a half. Imagine building a runway and a bomber airplane. That'd be pretty insane. Okay, so I have a lot of Cobrex. What should I do? I mean, uh, U-235. What should and can I do with it? Let me figure this out here. So we can make uranium fuel cells, which we can use in nuclear power. We could make nuclear fuel. Um, ah, oh, what else? Artillery shells take explosive shells. Explosive cannon shells, which take explosives, plastic, and steel. So I don't need it for artillery if you want to get that set up. Um, what is this? Discharge defense. Yeah, okay, that's... I love that thing. I've done that before. Uh, here's the power armor mark, too. That's another thing I need to get. And those take module twos, which I'm not even banking up any of those. Well, it looks like if I'm going to do nuclear, it's either nuclear fuel or it's nuclear power. Nuclear fuel takes rocket fuel and uranium-235. 
Um, so if we want to get uh, nuclear power, nuclear bombs for the biters. How do you do nuclear bombs? Do I even have that option? I don't even think I have that unlocked yet. There's nuclear artillery. I see uranium cannon shells. I feel like maybe I don't have some of this stuff unlocked that you're talking about. Spidertron is just about done. You know what? It might be if if, if Spidertron takes any nuclear nuclear stuff, that's what I'm working on next. How close are we? 99%. Ah, and there's atomic bomb, which is twice as much as what Spidertron took. So we're not doing atomic bombs anytime soon. Um You can arm Spidertron with nuclear bombs. Atomic bombs. Wow. All right, this spider I want to, I want the Spidertron to be done cuz I really want to see what it does. I have I'm kind of sad cuz I think I just disabled achievements and I bet I would have gotten an achievement just unlocking this. There it is. Okay. I guess we'll start atomic bomb. It's going to take freaking forever, but... All right. How the hell do we build a spider, Tron? It takes four rocket launchers, three efficiency module threes, 150 low-density structures... Portable fusion reactor. Dad, it takes a raw fish. Of course it does. Um, get ready to make 800 more machines to get it up and running. Guessing the rocket control units and the low density structures are the things. I have low density structures going for logistics robots, but uh, what was the other thing? Rocket control units. That's for that's for that's when you're getting into rocket building, right? Where are those? Gosh, there's so much crap in here. Where the hell is it? There's search button. Rocket. Uh okay. That control. There it is. Rocket control unit. Oh, yeah. It takes the speed modules and the processing units. And the portable fusion reactors take some time, too. Oh, man. What do I want to work on? There's so many There's so many different things we could work on. I don't even know what to, to work on. If I want to work towards Spidertron, build a small bot fed setup to build Spidertron plus components. I don't know what a bot fed... Oh, Oh, a setup that is fed by bots. Okay. Yeah, that might be a way to do it. So I don't have to create a whole assembly line for each part. Um, I, I want to do something with this. Can I at least, you know, I have, um, I have rocket fuel over here. Do I have rocket fuel in my logistics? I do. I could actually start getting nuclear fuel at robot fed nuclear fuel going. And that would at least be something. Is that done in an assembly thing? No, I'm guessing it's done in a centrifuge then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nuclear fuel is probably good. 1.1 devs will implement logistics for Spidertron. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go with this. And then we need a requester chest. And then a provider chest. There, and we're going to request to turn all new. I guess we want to just turn all rocket fuel into nuclear fuel, right? 
I'm supplied with 10. And then just turn it all into rocket fuel, I think. All right, so is that going to work? Is that going to do what it's doing, what I want it to do? And we'll just slowly turn this Cobra X into uh, nuclear fuel. Um, I kind of want to get... Wouldn't mind getting some shells going, too. Can I get artillery things going? It's explosives. Uh, explosive shells. Explosive. Okay. Might be worth getting uranium cannon shells going. <laughs> okay, damage 350. 400 plus 880. Area of effect size. So this has some area. The explosive ones have area on them. So I could, again, have bot fed thing here to try to get some explosive uranium cannon, sh cannon shells going as well. One stack of nuclear fuel equals one nuclear fuel. What? Do you mean one stack of rocket fuel? Okay, it's not... I requested this, right? Is it? Are they going to bring it or what? I have this. I have this in range, don't I? That's a provider chest. So my why is it not doing it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it just took a long time. All right, let me actually take a little bit out to help it go a little faster to get it started there okay all right so now we'll slowly get some nuclear fuel going please use our cobra x slowly i guess the question will be will i use the cobra x faster than i make it uh the u-235 what's the timing on u-235 Control N. I uh, looks like we're using U two thirty five slower than we're making it, so that's good. You go to the chest you requested it in and highlight it. It will tell you if they're bringing it or not. Well, I was looking at this. I, I just for whatever reason couldn't see if it was delivering it. Yeah, they, well, it's a long way. I mean, it's from it's from all the way over here, and they have to like bring it through here. So yeah, it's it's a long. It's it was just gonna take a while, so it's fine. Okay, we have a crap ton of U two thirty eight. I wonder if I want to use that for anything else. Maybe get uh, the cannon shells. So just have a bunch of just, you know, stuff being built. Uh, okay. I think I, I think I want to work on Spider-Tron. Let's let's get that started. There's there's just so much stuff I could do. It's kind of overwhelming. Finally, I'm not getting attacked all the time and I'm like actually a little confused because I'm like used to having to deal with that all the time. So it's weird that I'm not being attacked. I have so much room and time for activities now, I don't even know what to do anymore. Get rid of these miners that are mined out. Okay. I know, I'm playing on easy now. <laughs> Increase Cobrex. Um. I mean, the way I have this set up, I don't have a good way of increasing it. I would need to move these all around. Uh, you're saying do another Kovarex enrichment centrifuge, right? This is all kind of jury-rigged together right now. If I was going to do that. Uh, 
How would I do that? Because I'd need to be able to put it back in here with a long hand inserter there. Long hand inserter there. Actually, I might be able to do it. If I, I could actually swap this one out. Uh, problem would be this getting stuff into this chest here. It's good speed module it. And I actually think I have some on me, don't I? Yeah. Do that. It's not a bad idea. Let me think here a second. If I change this to Covarex Enrichment, I would need a way to get stuff off of here into there. If I could do those side inserter things, uh, Somebody is knocking on my door. What the hell is happening? No, I'm not answering it. I don't care. How do I get? How do I get from here to here now? I guess. Uh... No, this isn't gonna work. I can't do this. I can't do it. I would have to change up my setup. I'm just gonna leave that. I I just I don't want to mess with. I just don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with uh, nuclear. My brain can't handle it right now. Rans, your spirit animal. Someone knocks you, say no, go away. Yeah, I'm sure it's like. Something stupid that I don't care about. Like. <sighs> have you seen, have you met Jesus? Or, you know, I'm going to give you. I want to sell you something. I just don't even care. A three or more Covrex in a line. Eventually have enough for perpetual circulative flow. Then take out the excess. I would need a picture. My brain is too fried, Captain True. I would need a picture. And if you want to link a picture, you're going to have to ask permission to get to put a link. So feel free to let me know if you want to give me a link right now. My brain is too fried. It's I've. I just can't even think right now. I'm I'm. Fucking hell. I'm at that point of the day where I've been fighting damn bugs all day and they've been pissed me off and now they're not attacking me and I don't even know what to work on. So I want to see if I can get Spider-Tron started somehow. So for Spider-Tron, I need, I need so much crap. And for pretty much everything I need, I'm going to need more green circuits, which we don't have enough of. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to work on one thing at a time. If I increase my green circuit production, I'm going to need more iron, and my iron is not flowing fast enough, so let me just work on one thing here. I'm just at that point in the day. Okay, I don't I don't like this. I don't like this. Control D. Did I just upgrade? I meant to Alt D apparently. Okay. Apparently I'm trying to get my robots to do too much stuff. They're definitely not working very fast. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. This red splitter. Okay. Uh, later have a look at other Covrex blueprints, then take the ideas you like. Okay. Yeah, dying multiple times will get you frustrated. Sure as hell is for me. That's for sure. Okay. Let's see here. 
Okay, upgrade everything here. What the hell is happening? I'm trying to upgrade and I deconstruct. I try to deconstruct and it upgrades. What the fuck is happening? I want to upgrade, not deconstruct. Freaking game, man. What is happening right now? Oh my god. What did I just even do? What did I just do? That is not what I meant to do. Oh my god, it's it's been a freaking long week apparently. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like everything I do is the wrong thing. Freaking weird owls, everything you know is wrong is 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 the current theme of the stream. I just deconstructed something, didn't I? I think I deconstructed the inserters for these guys. Ran tilt, yeah, it's definitely tilting time right now. Okay, uh... There, and that'll let me do this. Yes. Okay. Upgrade planner. Please do what I'm trying to tell you to do. Please tell me you're gonna upgrade. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Upgrade my entire iron line. Just do something simple that I can do right now. Okay, those, my robots will do the rest of it. Uh, no, I'm not calling the stream. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's just my, it's just my brain. This, it, these automation games, you get to a point where you know you're, uh, you like you can't. At least for me, it gets so complicated. My brain's so fried from trying to keep keep everything straight that I just. I just lose it. I can't. I can't think anymore. Like everything I try to do uh, is not what I actually want to do. Okay, we're gonna up upgrade all these belts here. I actually don't have robots that can reach up here, so let me actually extend my. Let's do my thing here. Nope. There. Same for you, probably why you haven't touched Oni in a while. Yeah, auction not included is what it's talking about. Yeah. It's more of the task of working around your spaghetti feeling daunting. Yeah. Alright, so there's iron for that. Okay, so... I need to increase my, what do I have for productivity modules? I have all these level, these productivity module threes. Can I place all these in? You know what, uh, let's do some upgrades. I meant to do like two streams ago that I finally got all the pieces together for. And that is the yellow assembly machines and the Mark III production modules. I like started working on that. Two streams ago it was kind of one of the things I was trying to get done. It's taken all this time just to get all the pieces so I can. Where's the yellow things here? Just picked it up. Oh, there they are. Okay. And let's put the productivity modules right next to them. Those are the those are the Mark Ones. I want the Mark Threes. Mark Threes. Okay. All right. Let's do some upgrading here. All right. So red and green circuits. I need to be faster and more efficient. So that's what we're upgrading here. Uh, can I do it this way? Yes. How's the power situation? Good question. It's going up. Slowly going up. And that's a really good question, especially with us. This is going to use extra power, all these upgrades we're doing, isn't it?
Maybe that's why you would always get further in modern Minecraft. These are deal with spaghetti being 3D plus mods that make logistics stupid easy, such as teleporting items. Yeah, there's a decent chance you already have what you need for Spidertron. Why not? Oh, he was already in my network. Let me get some things upgraded before I do that. Let me get some things upgraded first. Um, they still haven't even finished building this yet. This is gun turret. And it's a gun turret, right? Let me focus on one thing and not get distracted by five other things, which is what keeps happening every time I try to get something done. Let me just stay focused a bit here. Okay. Blue circuits, and then... Wow, have I already used up all the... Tier 3s? Yeah. Okay, well, I can at least get the other Tier 1s in here. Have I reserved this cookie for... Spidertron, not yet. At 74. So the other place would be the red circuits here. I don't think I even have enough for all these. <laughs> Let me at least let them finish getting those in and see if I can keep this even on both sides. After I do this, maybe we'll look at the things we need for Spyrotron and see what we have. See how we are close to having the stuff to build it. I have a feeling we're not because of the, uh, pretty sure there are Blue circuits needed for the rocket control, whatever things. So I have a feeling that I don't have enough. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. So they've got as many productivity modules everywhere they could. We got 18 gigajoules or whatever of power. All right. Um, let me look at Spidertron. Okay. Let's let's look at just getting the Spidertron. Then maybe I can turn bugs back on if I can handle the Spidertron. The other thing I'd like to do, I would like to get the Power Armor Mark II on. Um, let me actually see if I can go grab the efficiency modules if they're in in my stuff over here. You can make a blueprint with modules on the bots. We'll fill it in as they become available. Okay. Uh, so the twos. All the twos are being turned into threes. So. Wait, no, that's wrong. I just grabbed ones out of there, didn't I? Get both and get lasers for day. Both, both what? Okay, so I need, uh, these are not even the right modules. What the hell am I even doing right now? Okay, it's the speed ones that I need. So, I want to Wow, they're not making any right now. Oh, I'm grabbing the... Okay. Uh, we don't need any more of those. I was taking all of those. So... Alright. Well, I do need the twos, so... Okay, so what I did was take out these guys. Alright, so I need to take... What was I doing? I forgot that I did that. Now, now I remember. 
crap, that's the wrong thing. Alright, so now we want to make the twos, but we don't want to make threes right now because we need the twos for... The other thing. For the power armor. This is future Rand here. Yeah, this is future Rand whose brain is just fried doll hell. All right, so for now, what I just want is a single chest. Taking these. I only need one stack of the Mark IIs, and that would give me enough to make power armor Mark II. Speed 2 are missing inserters. Yes, uh, now they should be going, and they have the outputs, right? This should now work. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's that. You know what I never did was get the other modules, which I need the efficiency ones now. Okay. All right, well, this is going to take even more stuff. Let me... Uh, Construct all this. I don't want these. Okay. Let's get the final efficiency module things going, which is again gonna use even more circuits that we don't you know have enough of. But I'm going to just copy paste. This exact build starting at right. Here. Okay. Let's see here. This should be about right. About right here, I believe. And we want to change this to be efficiency one, efficiency two, and efficiency three. And that will be finally all of the modules. Um, I get robots over here so they'll build all this stuff. Uh, Robo port. One is right. Uh, it's probably this this one here, I believe. I guess there are lots of options for automation games. Top down, Factorios, 3D, Satisfactory, Modern Minecraft, Side View, Own It. Yeah, there are. And each one of them are great until my brain starts exploding, which usually happens, you know. About the fourth or fifth hour in each day. Okay, so there's that. There's that. And there's that. Okay. Okay, so that should be... How are you... Okay, yeah, that'll be in the system once you just get power. I screw this one up being just to the left. Is that a straight line? I can't even tell. You know what? I don't care. Probably this one's not exactly in its right place. And, um, and uh, what I actually want to do is I want the, the twos... Yeah, this one's missing. I want to actually grab the module mark twos to get one stack so I can get my power armor. Hopefully I'll remember this. I will probably forget. Oh my god. Even when I frickin' turn them off. Still goddamn do it. Okay. Um, 
Okay, what do I need to do here? I need to get reds and greens going here. So that will be... Um, where are my splitters? There, and these are going to be reds. Gonna be one space. Uh, it's gonna be here. There. Okay, so that'll be reds there. They turn off aggression or base spawning. I think it was uh, base spawning, not aggression. I don't know. Somebody gave me a console command to put in. I put it in, and it's uh, and that's all I got. Okay, blue circuits. I'm not near making it nearly enough, but uh, it's okay. So we want reds and blues on here. So that with the blues coming up like this. Once my, once I put the my, the command in, my brain exploded. Sounds about right. That sounds about right. Sounds about like what happened. Um, did I really need a red circuit or a red thing for that? I don't know if I did, but I have no red underground belts. left and I don't know why they haven't been delivering them to me. Either my logistics robots have too much to do or they're not building them. Oh god, we're out of power. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I have no power right now. <clears throat> I try to do just uh, solar and it's not enough apparently. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to deconstruct all this. This is plugged in. These are extra pieces I can use. Where are my... Uh, let me look at my solar panels and stuff. What's taking so long to make these accumulators and solar panels? Where are they? Got our substations. I guess they just don't make super fast batteries, huh? The battery production. You know what? I'm probably... Yeah, I think I need to increase my battery production. These things do not build fast. Oh my god. This thing has been backwards the entire time. One of my four battery producers ever since I built it <laughs> has not been working. Nuke power real quick. Nuclear power is not fast. Nuclear power is not fast. I still don't think this is a, enough battery production, though. I'm actually going to increase, increase this by a bit. So let's do... Um, <laughs> I can't believe I... <laughs> uh, let's double this. Apparently it's not only current Rand that's brain is broken. Apparently past Rand doesn't know what the frick he's doing either. Oh, I can't do quite that. That's no way. All right, let's just do three of them then. Nope. Nope. That is... 
that backwards? That's backwards. There, that should be right. Or it's forwards and I built it backwards in a strange choice. Okay. Blue. Uh, crap. Blue, blue, blue. There. There, and then red inserter. Output, output, output. All right, hopefully that will speed up our accumulator production. Uh, simple nuclear setup's not much different than steam. You just use heat pipe in place of coal belt. Okay, maybe I will get that set up just to supplement my solar power, which is not keeping up. Okay. All right, so did I get this set up? My blue circuit production I know is not nearly fast enough for what I need it to be, but we do have, okay. With my current setup, I will be able to make, okay, well that was fast. Uh, I will be able to make my power armor mark two fairly soon. Beautiful. Now I can turn these guys back on to doing the Mark 3s. I don't know if I need the Mark 3s, but I assume I should be making them. Okay. And this, I'm going to one stack. This, I'm going to one stack. Okay. It's like I'm missing gears too. Yeah, I never fully run out because I have coal, but the coal I have is very small. Uh, amount of coal I have is very small. Let's let's do a let's do a solar pan uh, 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 nuclear power thing. I am running po out of power like crazy, so we need boilers, right? So it's um, nuclear uranium fuel fuel cells that go into a nuclear power plant. Is that what it is? Where's power stuff? Nuclear reactor. Oh my god, that takes a lot of stuff. 500 concrete, okay. I have so much random junk in here, okay. Oops. I did not mean to put my entire stacks of all those things in there. Welcome base. Welcome back, hey, Celiax. How are you doing? Hey, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate that. Or nine months in a row, 11 months. Uh, no, I don't want to do solar. Well, I do want more solar power, but... If I get, like, one nuclear reactor, right? Wait, 79 minutes? Oh, to make all that stuff. Okay. Uh, if I go get the concrete, I should be able to make one nuclear reactor. Heat pipes, heat exchangers, okay. Steam turbines, yeah, it's all that stuff, okay. Reactor, heat pipes, heat exchanger, turbines, plus water and fuel, of course, yeah. Okay, well, let me go make one reactor. I think I probably have a, enough concrete to do that. Two reactors are far more efficient. I don't know if I have enough materials to make two reactors, but I guess I can try and see. Mainly the concrete, because I need... What is it? So I need a thousand concrete, and I think I'm only banking up how much? Like 300? Yeah. Right. So... Stacks of 100... That is 400, 500, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that'll be enough. Okay.
Why limit the concrete? Um, well, you know what? Since I'm not using this iron for anything else, there's probably no reason to, actually. So, sure. I mean, we have plenty of stone bricks. There's probably no reason to limit it. Alvi Bene, Celiac's pretty good. I'm a little stressed out today just because of, you know, long, long stream and a lot of singing yesterday, but I'm good. All right, so we won't limit the concrete. So it's gonna, so it's gonna take a while for that to build. We're gonna get nuclear power. I'm so fucking done with these damn, with these damn, whatever they're called, bugs. I'm gonna go clear them out, and they shouldn't expand anymore. Freaking clear them out for the last damn time here. So done with these damn bugs, man. Killing my shit. Frustrating the hell out of me. Damn bugs. Nuked a lot of them. Uh, one reactor, 40 megawatts. Two reactors, 160 megawatts. Four reactors, 400 megawatts. Okay. Cool. Well, sounds like probably two is what I'd want to go for right now, then. If I can get that set up in this last hour. Just to supplement my solar power. Where's my door? I have a door over here somewhere. Quite sure there was a door there. I feel like next time I play Factorio, I, I don't want to play on Peaceful because it's fun to play with the exploding things, but the bugs get so goddamn frustrating to deal with. I think I need, I'm going to need to change settings next time I play just to make them never spread. I think it's the spreading back into places I've already cleared that just frustrates the hell out of me. Because having to do the same thing over and over, like re-clear them out, is really annoying. Really repetitive and annoying. I just need to have the setting off from the beginning to not... that they just can't spread. Speed modules and cover actually should be producing more than enough fuel too, you think? Cut. Alright, so hopefully we have stopped them spreading by the setting we changed the console command we used. And we'll clear these guys out and we don't have our sh shiznit getting broken all the time. What about you, hey, silly axe? How are you doing? See, you're trucking along. I think Rail World has spread turned off by default if you want to try it. Well, if Rail World is what I'm thinking of, the one where it your resources, all the resources are so spread out to force you to use trains, I don't probably want to play that one. But maybe, maybe that's what I'll try next time. Just to turn the resources way up, the uh, richness way up, so I don't have to expand as much, and don't have to clear out the same damn bugs over and over again. Okay, it's pretty clear all around our base. I, I hope that's enough, man. I hope that is enough to not have to mess with bugs for at least an hour, since that's what we have time, uh, all we have left today. I forgot that you can build while you're in the tank. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, they'll repair it. It's fine. It's fine. They'll repair it. Alright, let's see. Um, let's see if we can get some nuclear power going. Let's see if we can get some damn nuclear power. It's also weird to me that they start you out... Uh, that I didn't realize that desert is worse for pollution, and that's like the default. It's kind of weird to me. 
Not sure why they start the default as the one that makes it worse for pollution. Maybe they, they want that mechanic to be your, like, thing you have to play against or something? Jesus. Do I even care about that? No, I don't care about that. Okay. Uh... It's random. It's is it is it really random? Every time I've played, I've been on desert. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I've only played three times. Maybe I just got really unlucky and random at three times. Unless they changed that after the game got out of beta or something. Yeah, I guess I didn't know about rerolling the seed. Probably a lot of the stuff I'm complaining about is just because I, I'm ignorant. Ignorant of how it works. Alright, let's go see if we can get nuclear power. Oh, crap, I didn't pick up stuff. Alright, leave this here at the end of our... Uh, what is this thing called? Bus. Okay, so we need the concrete. I don't have enough room for all this stuff, so let me put this here, this here. It's solid fuel in here, I guess. Solid fuel. Uh, why do I have stone on me? I should not have stone on me. Okay, I don't need... Uh, I don't want to get off of me here. Damn it, shift, shift click, not control click. Shift click. Why do I not have any underground belts? I have 50 in here. Damn, I turned this off at some point. Wow. I know, I don't know when I turned that off. I did not mean to. Adding steel and circuits to your networks if they are not yet will help you with this build. Okay. All right, let's do that. Um, so we'll just put one on a random, uh, pull them off of a random belt up here. So like, I do a passive provider right here, do this. Keep, uh, like. That. I don't know if I was already doing that. I don't think I have this for reds yet either, so I should do the same thing with red belts. What's up, Magnum? Okay. Yeah, I think my green, my red circuits aren't on the things. That's probably another issue I'm having. Okay, and then we do the same with steel. Uh, past ran, prison ran, and future ran. Locked in an endless war. <laughs> always, always yelling at each other. God, past ran. Why didn't you do anything? Well, future ran, you get too annoyed by stuff. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now let's have, so I have, I already have the circuits. I never did get steel requested, I don't think. So steel... Stack there. Okay. Your biggest pa obstacle in Factorio is past you. Yeah, sounds about right. All right. Let's go grab concrete. Whatever concrete we've made. These robots are following me. I'm good. I wonder why my blue circuit production is so slow. Uh, just because blue circuits are slow, I guess. I need to increase that production. We're using a ton of them, so that's the real reason. All these modules we're trying to make, I just, I upgraded. I did all that and I did not upgrade my blue circuit production. So another thing to work on. Okay, so for what we're doing, this... Advanced circuits, steel plates, and copper plates. All right, well, let's grab the rest that we need for one of them. OK, 
steel and advanced circuits. Oh my god, it's, they take so much space up. Okay. Uh, I don't actually have even enough room in my inventory to pick up with all this stuff right now. What's the grand plan? Current base seems bus limited without significant change. Sorry, you knew the channel. Well, I'm not making significant changes right now, so... The grand plan right now, I'm trying to... I don't know. It's the end of a six-hour stream, and... I don't know what I'm working on right now. I don't want this fluid wagon on me. I don't need this many construction robots on me. Stack. I don't need these extra locomotives on me. Current plan is just to not get overwhelmed by stuff, and I'm failing currently. Currently, currently. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Take this beacon out. But yeah, I'm about to try to start to get... I'm trying to start getting nuclear power set up, is what I'm currently trying to do. So I need 400 steel plate, 200 more red circuits here. Like how your character just is carrying trains, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it, you stupid Stop it. I'm freaking taking them as I pick them up. No wonder I'm having issues here. Jesus Christ. It steals it on infinite at least. I'm picking things up, they're taking them away from me, you damn robots. Ugh. Where do they put all these red circuits? Where are they? I need 500 more. Where do the rest of they go? I, I, I eyeball most things, what, Japes? I eyeball most things because I don't like to use other people's blueprints because it seems cheaty and defeats the purpose of this game. Uh, well, not cheaty, but just defeats the purpose of the game if you're just going to use other people's builds. Uh, I kept expanding my solar and still run out of juice. Yeah, throw everything in the network and let them bring your stuff back to you. Uh, okay. 400. I only need a couple more advanced circuits and I'll have the 500. There. Okay, so now I just need 400 more steel and I do have enough room for that. Hundred percent. The first time you got to learn the lessons yourself. Well, I, I've done solar power. Uh, I've done nuclear power before. This is my third playthrough of the game. But um, I don't. I don't want to use another build. Okay. All right. So there's one. If we're gonna do two of these. I'm going to need, wait for them to bring me stuff again, go get more concrete, get more steel. Yeah, let's do, let's do two of them, because that's the more efficient way to do it. Right. All right, there's the steel. Next is copper. I have a box for steel and reds. It's true. It's true. Uh, I'll get. I'll use the reds for that. What do I need for copper? I don't have a box for copper. Do I have a box? I probably should have a box for copper, but I can just pick it up like that. So, screw it. Okay. It's four hundred. Okay, that'll do it. And then just need the concrete, which hopefully has built fast enough. Your current save is 400 hours or so, and you have a separate save just for creating your own blueprints for design patterns you find yourself using a lot. That's pretty cool. Got a lot of copper for heat pipes. Okay. Good call. Hopefully I have enough room for the concrete. Yes, I'll have just enough room. All right, let's see. Where did you go, concrete? Where did you come from? Where did you go? 
Okay. I don't need the rest of this concrete for anything. I don't think so. I'm going to leave it in there for now. Okay, so we got two nuclear reactors. Um, I'm going to need more steel for the uh, heat pipes, it looks like. Iron gear wheels. Okay, let me grab some more things here. Actually, do I have iron gear wheels requested? I should have those requested too. I should have all these things. Uh... So let me do a requester chest right, or a provider chest here. There and okay. Okay, and then iron gear wheels. Oh, I think I was requesting them, but I just didn't have a chest for them. And let's not have a max. Okay, and uh, what was the other thing? Uh, let's see here. Steel plates. They should be bringing those to me. Pipes I have. Pipes, okay, so with iron gear wheels, okay, that should do it. I have, Did they bring me the iron gear wheels? I have 100, is that what I requested? It's probably good. Uh, copper, I don't have, do I have copper? I have, pl I have a decent amount of copper. Get some extra. Seems you need bigger pockets. Yeah, I mean, every time you get upgraded armor, you get bigger pockets. Speaking of, how close am I to getting the power armor to? I can do that right now. Let's do that right now. That'll get rid of these efficiency and speed modules I got. So uh, low density structures I have over by my robot. Where are my construction robots? Uh, I know I have low density structures somewhere. Don't these take low density structures? What am I? What am I missing? Oh my God! Shogi just gifted five subs. Oh my gosh! The gifts today are crazy. All right, says so, okay, fine. I'll do a copper request or two. Let me go put it right next to the other thing here. That's why I can't get anything done. It's like every time I do something, oh, you should do this. Okay, I'll do that. I should really do that. Okay. There. Now, where are my low density structures? I know I have them somewhere on a on a belt somewhere. There they are. How many do I need? Thirty. Got it. okay. Forty electric engines. Are probably on a belt over here somewhere. Yep, right over here. That damn that's the entrance, Shogi. <laughs> but yes, Copen FBKV Care Magnum and Squish Doodle you. Welcome and or welcome back to the randoms. Again, sorry for no uh Sorry for no whatchamacallit. Uh alerts, I'll turn it back on. Okay. All right, we got our new armor. Okay, this should give us more pockets, which will help a lot too. Yeah, sorry, what japes? Please don't put links. You gotta ask permission. We have too many, too many spam bots. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, wow, that gave us a lot more room. Am I missing something? No, it's fine, no worry. You gotta let me know what you want to link and somebody will permit you. Oh my gosh, we can put so much more stuff in here. Uh, what do I need more of? Probably another shield. Do I have a Mark 1 shield that I can upgrade to a, two, a Mark 2 shield? Somewhere. I see solar panel things. Is there any way to request specific stuff? How, how do you... Is there some chest that you can use to request specific stuff in your logistics system? Fusion power and so many more legs? Yeah, those would be good things. Total of th over a thousand hours of Factorio, nice. 
Blue chests, green chests. Okay, well, I see two different things there. Uh, what does the green chest do? I haven't used any of those yet. Put a green and a blue chest over here, I guess, and see if I can figure out how to just request a specific thing. How do I see what's in my inventory? That's what I want to do. Is there a way to, like, show what do I have? Uh, you love my monster train runs, finally? That's awesome. Ignore buffer chest. Okay, so it's not the buffer chest, right? That's requester. So this one. Um... If I do that, is it going to bring... So, okay, I know that there are solar panels somewhere. Um, subscribing, ooh, na, na. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Ooh, na, na. Hey, hey, and show you get to the divine leaf. Thank you. What do I have where? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to see. I want... I want... I know I have old pieces somewhere. See, I had this shield somewhere. It went and found it and brought it to me. That's what I wanted it to do. Yeah. So I want to turn this into a, a Mark II shield if I can. Oh, oh, I need 10 of those. Oh, crap. Well, then you know what? I'm just going to equip that one because I don't want to make a 10 of them. 10 more. Hold over logistic chest and you'll see what you have stored to the right. Yes, I know. I see all that stuff. I don't know where it is. I wanted to, like, be in a chest, see what is available in my thing, and then grab it all. But that's probably not a thing that you can do. All right, so we need more legs. What does it take to make more legs? Probably more lower density structures, right? I want to run faster. Electric engines, okay. Use blue. All right, we'll make at least two more legs here. I really want a fusion reactor. Okay. Do that. Just need the low density structures over here. There. Okay. Ooh, okay. Do I need fuel for this? Or does this just give me power all the time? How does... Holy crap, we are so fast. Oh, that's good. It doesn't need any fuel, so I can just get rid of all these solar panels? It's infinite power. Well, that's... Uh... Imba. <laughs> well, let's get... Uh, some more legs then. Let me get rid of this. This. So, oh man, that's going to be nice. So I can do two more legs and then I could do, um, two more shields. So two more legs. Let's get all the legs. So it's all these guys. Unlimited power. I don't understand why my battery's not filling up, though. I have batteries. Do I not need batteries, then? I'm going to try this, put down an assembler, plus requester chest, set the recipe to leg, control left, right on the assembler to requester chest. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It'd be KB right now. If batteries aren't filling, then you are consuming more than making. Uh, I thought this was infinite power. I guess that's a lot too many legs. Oh, uh, these things use a lot of power. Okay. So I probably need two fusion reactors then, maybe? I got rid of this. Let's 
It's not infinite. You just meant it doesn't need fuel. Okay. Um, well, let's make another fusion reactor then. We need more processing units and low density structures. Oh my god, I need to increase my blue circuit production. I was going to work on solar power. I really was. I was going to do that. I mean, I mean, whatever the other power is I was going to work on. I totally was. Ten more. Just always something else to work on, I swear. Oh, crap. Nope, don't do that. We can make the, We can grab the low-density structures. Don't need to make them. Wow, we are so freaking fast, though. It's awesome. Where are my low-density structures? Cannot freaking see a damn thing. Engines. Here they are. That's not to do. Yes. Cap. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, pie boy? Mark II Roboports are quite consumptive, if I recall. Okay. Oh, okay, our power is actually slowly going up now. Um, two megawatts. 3.5 megawatts. Actually, they're not that bad, but I think I kind of... feel like I don't need two of those. So maybe I have just one Mark II RoboPort. <laughs> At their second RoboPort, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, can I get one more Mark II battery? And then we're going to go actually do power here. Ten personal batteries, which takes steel plates and batteries. Okay. Let me grab the batteries and steel plates. I don't have to make all those. Okay, there we go. All right, so that should be the last thing we need for a character, hopefully for a long time. This in there and this in there. The sheriff here? Sheriff Shogi was here earlier, yes. Okay. All right, let's go try to set up, finally, friggin' nuclear power. My goodness. Faster than our car? Yes, thankfully we don't have to use our car to get anywhere. Yeah, look at the zoom zoom, baby. Okay. Now we're zooming. Okay, so. We're making nuclear fuel right now. Oh my god, these each take one space. Okay, that's what you were talking about earlier. Alright. Um, nuclear power. We have the power plants. Where are they? There are two of them. Where'd they go? Right here. Nuclear reactor. All right. We have pa we have water right over there. Uh, these things can, like, overheat and do, like, a meltdown thing, right? So I think I kind of want this off by itself, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right, so these things are heat pipes. Does anybody have a nuclear build just that I can look at to get an idea to remember the mechanics of this thing? Because I believe you want it surrounded with heat pipes or something, right? Because you're transferring heat. Do you have a heat exchangers? I think I need to look at that build again. You want them side by side? Okay. They touch, they touch each other to have bonus. Okay. Do you think I should... Two by two, yeah. Uh, okay, so the heat pipes are out. Okay, so. I'm gonna need more copper, more steel, looks like. Okay, they should be bringing me steel, I believe, right? Yeah, they should be bringing me steel. Here. Right, 100 steel requesting is not nearly enough. 300. Uh, 
It must touch to that bonus. Two by two reactors, heat pipes out, boilers either side, two turbines per boiler. You're so fast you leave, leave a dust cloud behind you. <laughs> That's right. All right, so we know we need... When you say boiler, is that steam turbine or is that something else? I know I need heat exchangers and stuff. Yeah, good call, Enter for Sabio. Good call. You mean steam turbine. And you say it's two turbines per boiler. So you meant heat exchanger when you said boiler. Okay. All right. You need to reset your sentence with the correct words because I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, two turbines per heat exchanger. Okay. All right. So if I have... I guess the question then is going to be how many... Um, How many can I do with this many things here? So this does generates heat. All right, so we want, uh, let me get a bar for this here. This bar, we want this, we want this, this. And I know we're gonna need water for this. We got pipes. Okay, so, oops, I did two of the same thing here. Is it heat pipes all around that I'm going to want? Because I'm going to need a lot more than that. I'm going to need more copper plates. Did I request copper? I have re copper on request, right? I don't. Um, anywhere where the heat pipe is above 400, you will get steam. You got to go, Fruity Man. All right, well, thanks for hanging out, my friend. We'll see you later. Limit on heat exchangers is distance from reactor and reactor neighbor bonus. Imagine the reactor heats up. The heat pipe heat falls off as a function of distance from source. Okay. When on your old phone, it still remembers on um, predictive text the sentence, how many pepes before to Mac? That's funny. That's enough heat pipe. Enjoy the stream. Hope the whole nuclear power goes well. Thank you, Fruity Man. We'll see you later. Heat pipes act like a belt of coal. Okay, cool. All right. Just without inserters, gotcha. All right, Nietzsche's got a little link to give me an idea of what it looks like. Okay, wow, that's huge. So that is a bunch of turbines with only four things. Okay. All right. Don't know if that's representative. Yeah, that's probably more complicated than I'm going to build, but it gives me an idea of how things connect, so thank you for that. All right, so this is going to need... Um, I'm going to need to make the nuclear fuel, of course, the uh, stuff, so I need uh, my centrifuge. going to make the... Oh, yeah, there's even nuclear, f nuclear fuel reprocessing. That's right. I actually need the fuel. I didn't start making the fuel yet. Let's do this off the side. Yes, uranium fuel cells is what I need. And that takes iron plates, huh? That takes iron plates. Okay. I think I'm just gonna use requester chest because I don't have to I won't have to worry about all the other stuff I have to do for this. So I'm gonna change this to a provider chest. And a requester chest asking for the two things I need. So one more requester chest. This is not super efficient, but I just want to get something that works right now. So one that requests iron. And one that requests this stuff from right over here. I don't want to move it around. Is iron in my network? Um, you know what? It probably is not. 
That's another thing I need to set up. Let me get the uh, U-235, though, or U-238. There. Try the copy recipe from assembler to request your chest. <sighs> okay. All right. I see what you're doing there. So I, I take this recipe and request it there. It will never be able to get this, so I'm going to get rid of that. How do I how do I get rid of that? I right click it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I just need to get iron to go in there, and that will do what I need to do. I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's go get iron on the belt here. Yeah, I want chest can request it all. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Good tip. All right. So let's do a. Provider, nope. Provider. Damn it. Okay. And there. And am I asking for iron? I should be. I should be. Oops, no. That's not what I want to do. I want to. Oh, iron. I am. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. So that should start making the nuclear fuel, I believe. I believe, I believe. The recipe copy is great for these one-off rare builds. Yeah, cool, thank you. Alright, so that should be making these. I need to put an inserter. Okay. Let's do a fast inserter. Stack inserter. I don't even know why I use these regular inserters anymore. Let's do that. Okay, and then this is going to be the fuel that goes down there. And then there's going to be used up fuel that we're going to send up somewhere to re-enrich it or whatever. But uh, I'll set that up later. So this will just be like this. That's the wrong direction. Okay. Not quite sure how that build gets the uh, fuel to where it's going. For now, just store the fuel. Don't I want it to? I'm pretty sure I want it to go somewhere, right? It needs to go inside here, right? Okay, so let me again kind of figure out how this. So heat exchanger. Okay, so this is like the boiler. It wants steam in. What's in the heat exchanger? It's just heat, right? Where does that heat go? Okay, so the steam goes there. Ah, okay. So it's a, it's plugging into the back there. So that's, like you said, the coal. So something like that. Okay. So, so the question is, how many heat exchangers do I need for two nuclear reactors? Um, for four, I see a crap ton. I see a crap ton there. Uh, so I need a bunch of them. I don't know how many exactly, though. Let's make all of these for now, I guess. 16? Okay. I need a lot more copper. All right. How much copper am I requesting? 300. Okay, let's make the iron 300 as well. With four, you can have more because you get max neighbor bonus. With two, you won't be able to go as far. Well, I see... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I see 24 with four on this picture that Nietzsche showed with no waste. Um... That is a lot of turbines, too. And I see that it goes to... Wow, it has storage tanks for the steam, too. We're going to need some storage tanks here. I'll do half of that, which would be, what, 12? Do 12 of them. See the above link for close-ups? Ah. Okay. Got some accumulators going on. Oh, he's got chests supplying. I see. Okay. 
Well, again, I don't want to copy the exact build, but that's that's useful to see kind of how some things plug in there. So. With four, I'll need 40. 40 what? 40 what? Heat exchangers, really? One heat exchanger makes like just over two turbines worth of steam. It's like 2.2 .2 worth or whatever. If I were to do to 12, if I were to do 12, or do you mean, are you saying 40 steam turbines? Uh, it's tough when people are telling me numbers. I got three different people saying different numbers for different other things. So you're saying I don't really need storage. Um, so that'll be six of those. What did, what did I say? 12 of those. And each one of these guys, it looks like is supplying... Yeah, I don't know the numbers at all here. I think it's not bad to have storage. Uh, so what did I say? 12. Okay, it's so slow waiting for them. Let's go pick up the copper ourselves, man. Do it ourselves. Do it alive. Pick up stuff. Alright, I'm going to plan for 12 of these guys. That's, uh, that'll be, that'll be 12 right there. I'm doing two reactor, not four. For now, eyeballing, use two gas turbine or steam turbines per heat exchanger, you're saying? Um, so if we did that, that would be 24 steam turbines. Twenty-four steam turbines. Uh, someone else's two reactor version, less complicated. Oh god, so much less complicated. God, why? Why are there solar panels in the middle of that? Is that just to, like, self power or something? It does not look very not complicated. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think I would use a build quite like that. It's my build is not going to be that complex. Six. I'm gonna want 24 of these guys. Okay, let me cancel that out. I need I need so many gear wheels. Is what I need right now. How can I get gear wheels without grabbing something else? I need. I need an underground belt just to be able to pick something up right now. You can do this design, but without storage will be effective. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I need pipes. They should be bringing me stuff. I know I'm going to need a lot more pipes anyway, so I should grab more pipes over here, wherever they are. Uh, here. Okay. Need at least two full pipes of water. Uh, just to ask for link permission and Shogi or Pyboy or one of the mods can uh, permit you. I should be able to get you, no problem. If they're if they're still around, I think they are. Pyboy's usually here. Alright, so how many say I needed 24? I currently have... That'd be 20, so I need four more. One, two, three... Three, four. There we go. Okay. So we'll do 24 steam turbines to 12 heat exchangers. And we'll probably need more heat pipes. But for now, I think that's good. This is the bottom of your left of your base. Looking for stuff. Next looking stuff is solar. Okay. Cool. I'm not going to really use that, but that's cool. Nuclear is great for mid game. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're end game, but our solar just doesn't work at night because you know that's how solar works. 
Um, and let me just have this be in a chest right now. Yeah, I'm super fast. We have like five, five exoskeletons on us now. 16 heat exchangers and 28 turbines. Well, I thought we were doing 12 and 24. Okay. Uh, so I need one, two, three, four. And you said 16. I was doing 12. One. One. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'll get the battery. There. Okay. Looks like 16. Okay. Is that the ideal ratio? Oh, great. We got math questions again. Well, uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Hopefully that will be good. That's what we'll go with. And how many pipes do I have? Do I have enough pipes to bring water? I need some regular pipes. I need some more regular pipes here. We're zoom zooming around, man. Uh, I feel so good to be this fast. Yeah. Uh, they're turning all of those. Okay, so I need to grab pipes off of the ground somewhere. There were some pipes a couple different places. There. 162. Might be good. There were some more pipes somewhere over here. There. Okay. There we go. Let's hopefully have enough for this. Why not just stay on the planet and build a nice place to stay? Because screw biters, yeah. Your day job is an AI actuary. You love the math. Okay. Ideal is 16 exchangers and 27.491 turbines. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so. Um, you know what? Let's have this going downwards here. So. Uh, so we want it to be like this. You said I needed two pipes of water. Is that right? Do I need to plan this in a way that I, I send two pipes of water? Should I split it in half? One above, one... Um, I don't want to do this. Actually, I have a better idea. We're going to do it. We're going to be on the going... I'm going to do this vertically instead of horizontally like the other build here. Yeah, I think I want to do, like, if I do this and have it be like this. So I should have, don't let biters kill my nuclear reactors. I'm going to try not to. Why do I have 17? I should have 18, right? 16. Oh, I have one extra. Damn. Okay. That's fine. I want to do eight on a side. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. So if we do something like that, need more of those. Uh, do I need spaces? That's probably fine to do it that way, right? Have them connected to each other. Okay, need more. Okay, so does that work, or is that bad to do it that way? That probably is fine, right? Do I need to, like, connect these heat exchangers, or does this work fine this way? I mean, it looks like their heat exchangers kind of go all over the place, so I'm hoping that's fine. All right, so I need to bring in water, and let's do two separate pipes. Just in case, I guess, and we'll bring it in on the top, since I, if I expand it, I'll probably want to... Well, you said it's better to... Have shorter pipes to conserve heat. That's yeah, fine. We'll still bring it here. So we need two offshore pumps. <laughs> I 
God, we're so fast. Uh, I'll, I'm going to move the other one up, so we'll do like that. <laughs> this is almost like comically fast how quickly we're running here. All right. Uh, really? I can't go sideways? Come on. Come on. Rotate. Darn you, game. Okay, that one will rotate. Yeah. Right there. No lim upper limit how fast you can go, just an upper limit of how many legs you can put in your exosuit. That's pretty crazy. Crazy. One offshore pump per 11 heat exchangers. Okay, so, yeah, then one would not have been enough for these. That would have been 16. Okay, so there's that, and then we need fuel. So I guess for now what we'll do... Yeah. Uh, we're going to want an input and an output because they'll be used ones that we send back up. So I don't think we need fast inserters or anything. We could just do this, this, and then... I'll put the other ones. You limit that fuel chest if you don't want to eat all your 235. I'm actually going to get rid of the fuel chest now because that's... We're still doing pretty good on 235, thankfully. So what I will do is put... Whoa, we've already made a crap ton. Okay. I'll put one of these in each of those guys. Um, and then output here. Here. This is going to be the used fuel cells that will go where they're going to go. I did not realize I made quite so much of that. Uh, so, let's, uh, do this. <laughs> um, I can use... I can't use that on the tank, right? It's these that I use on the tank. Right, it's the, uh, rocket fuel. Yeah. But we're gonna have plenty of fuel, looks like. Um, okay, let me get a... Now we still need the steam turbines power poles that's only for power okay yeah all right so now we need the steam turbine so is it two per like the other thing is oh man do I need a space between to be able to reach the power lines I need to redo this to get Cause I can't put power lines that reach there, can I? What's reaching this? That is. Oh uh, man, I have substations. Yeah, I don't have them on me. Yeah, I think I'd rather do turbine pipe turbine just to make it simpler. And I should um, uh, what you call it? I should I I should blueprint this, make it easier. Let me go. Let me go do that real quick. So I need copper to make a bunch more heat pipes. Cause that needs to be longer now. No, I need heat pipes because they're gonna get separated. So I'm gonna need more heat pipes to to, to cover that area. It's going to be about, tw not quite twice as long, but it's going to be longer. Okay. Now, nah, I don't want to use substations. I, uh, I would rather not do it that way. No need to separate. I, oh, let's see. Where are my substations? Let me see. They're over here. 
Each extra length you lose heat. Okay. Well, all right. Well, let me let me come up with a quick blueprint then. Pipe between the steam turbines to make space for power poles. Ah, okay. All right. I was thinking of the way I did my uh, call ones. I see what you're saying. Okay, good call. I got gotcha. you. Okay, and I will blueprint that. So it'll be pipe. We do that. I don't want to use substations. I just don't want to. Not for this, anyway. I, I, I like to reserve my substations for my solar panel grid. Is that a good reason? Probably not. But I just do. I want to control copy this. Oh. Okay. And let's do the opposite here. One. Nope. There, there, there. I don't know, no good reason, just stubborn me, I guess. Did I miscount this? I feel like this is not gonna be the right number. Is it really just the same blueprint? It really is. I thought it would, I would have to, I could have rotated it anyway. Crap. Oh, God. <sighs> this one's not a grid, so. Stupid game! I shift click, right as I shift click. Oh, save! Oh, we put it in a different place. God damn it. God damn auto save. Okay. How did I not make enough? I need four more. One, two, three, four. I know, just like frickin' Oni, man. Autosave is the worst feature until you need it. Yeah. Well, it's it's it saved us a little time a couple times. So are these running? Am I missing anything? I have water. Is it just gonna take time to heat up now? Temperature's high. Did I mess up something here? We got over 600 degrees here. Um, because solar's online, power is not connected on the left side. That's that's correct. You're right about that. Okay. So while solar's online, these things aren't going to be. So is this, if this gets too hot, that's bad, right? Like, if solar's going over, over heat exchanger. Which thing is the heat exchanger? This thing? Minimum temperature is 500. There's no problem with too much heat. If it reaches 1,000, it just wastes the extra heat. Okay, all right. So it won't hurt me if we have extra heat. So this will just supplement our power and when... When uh, solar power is not going, these things will kind of kick into gear, right? It's creating 200 steams. So that's okay. I, I made these uh, storage tanks. Is it worth? Is it worth storing any steam? I wonder. Is this connected to my grid? Yeah, it's connected right here. Let's see, we now have the steam turbines not creating any power because. Solar panels doing all the work right now. If it's over 900 and it's destroyed, it goes full Hollywood. Let us teach you how to make RS latch. What is an RS latch? Ah, here it goes. Okay, it turned on. It's nighttime. So now 
Our steam turbines kick into gear. Okay. Um, is there like a circuit that you're talking about to like um, make it so this immediately turns on at night or something? Because that's the main time we're going to want this is at night when, uh, when the solar panel goes offline. Use pumps. Yeah, reactors can't be shut off except by not entering additional fuel. Use secret circuits to control pumps. Should I do that, though? Because y'all were saying that it kind of needs to... Like spin up right like the heat needs to heat up the water or whatever maybe it's not worth doing that maybe i should just leave it like this i think it's too much effort to do that uh i think nuclear does not pollute no yeah i can store steam but you don't think it's worth the effort okay because what i do see is they have like uh like on this little other thing they have like the steam go into uh i guess some storage tanks um i wonder how i would do something like that if i like put some storage tanks in here Just to store some steam. If that would be at all useful, I wonder. That would store steam, and since I don't have a pump anywhere, it'll go back into there, right? Or do I need to have it circulate around? Um, if you really want your nukes to be peakers, you'd want a combination of steam storage, and circuit control. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh my gosh, Chris, I'm 41 months. Thank you. The current turbines are max. You just have a sad face. Okay. Making your nukes... Nukes peakers in factory is a much pain. I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know what nuke peakers means. I don't know if this will do anything, but might be useless. Uh this this. Now our steam has some place to go. I mean, it's like maybe buffer storage for our steam. Peakers are last resort power. Nuke Peakers are, is using nuclear power to cope with spikes in demand for power. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I don't... This probably doesn't do anything. It'd probably be better... Tanks after turbines. Maybe have storage between here and there, but... IRL usually would use nukes as base load and gas as peakers. It's a bit helpful to have a bit of steam, but really this is over -engin engineering for right now. Well, that's fine. This is gonna be I'm not gonna touch this in like a long time, so that's why I want to uh have something that will last for a while. But last thing I want to do is I know I need to re do something with this. Uh centrifuge. We want to nuclear nuclear fuel reprocessing creates U-238. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to insert it onto here. You're going to head out, Saucer? All right. Thanks again, my friend, for gifts and all that good stuff. You have a great rest of your night, my friend. Just so we have our full loop going on here. Turn this into the uh, U-238.
Build a separate loop, seed it with the good uranium, and it will eventually saturate. I don't know what that means. Seed it with the good uranium. I don't even know what. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. Okay, so yeah, this is we have to do something with the used up fuel. Is there anything else I use the used up fuel cells for? I can't remember. I don't think there's anything else you can do with them other than just turn it back into the uranium here. Uranium ammo we have, and that's just from you know uranium two thirty eight, which is what we're turning that into. So. I think you just have to do this with the used up uranium fuel cells. You just turn it back into uranium-238. So, okay. Well, we did a little bit with uranium today, and we have a crap ton of fuel cells here. So, uh, how's our... So, we have a little bit of storage of U-235. I would probably want to completely redesign this uh, if I, I... This was just kind of a thrown-together thing. We have rocket fuel. We have... Nuclear fuel and we have nuclear power now um, Are all these miners yeah all these miners are still going Once you get Kovarex you basically have nearly infinite uranium. Yeah, that's we have we only have one Kovarex thing going um, But it is going uh, Do I have a mark three speed module I have mark twos these are That one there Two's in there. Mine uranium, you make 238, 235. You make whatever crap you need. If you need extra 235 and have too much 238, you do Kovarex and turn spent fuel to 238. Add it to what you get out of the centrifuges. Yeah, it's basically what we're doing. We may, we're turning the raw uranium into 238, which then goes into the Kovarex enrichment with the U235. And yeah. So you want to do extend to four plants. This setup is fine. Okay. Well, I think we're going to call it there. This is... Kind of a crazy day because the bugs were bugging me. The bugs are bugging me, but I think we finally stopped. We, I think with the command we did, they're no longer at least spreading, which is kind of a relief because it was frustrating the hell out of me. What I think I want to do is take this out and go put that into my tank for next time we use it. We might want to get like, um, well, I think the next time we play, we're probably going to dedicate the entire first part of the stream to trying to get uh, what you might call it? Get the uh, get the spider tron going. And that stack size is one, by the way. Last long time. So, uh, but we did get good stuff. Uh, we we increased our red and green circuit production. Our blue circuit production is now completely destroyed. You can see our blues are not nearly fast enough so next time we play we're gonna have to go increase our blue circuit production by like three times or something i think because our blue circuits are just just not not doing anything we're we're creating too many uh probably modules because we went to tier three modules on all three types today and that is using so many blue circuits that our blue blue circuit production is like nothing uh a bomb research is about two-thirds so, uh, that's probably another thing that's slowing us down is we probably need blue circuits for one of the research packs. But, uh, we did get some good stuff, but we're kind of the mid to late game, and so everything we try to do is, like, uh, you know, uh, is, is really s extremely complicated. And why is my stone production so bad? Hold on a second. Before I leave, I have to... Okay. Because I don't have that much stone here. All right, let me let me just. This will be the last thing we do. One more thing. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. Uh, where are my miners? Right here. Uh, just one more thing. Really, really. How was that the one thing that was plugged into the entire build? What the hell? Yeah.
I didn't think my stone would be my next thing that would run out here. Okay. This is, we're not going to use my real build. This is just a quick, quick thing. Because stone is like one of the least important resources, I feel like. I don't really care about it being optimized. I just need to have a belt that's pretty much full here. Uh, remember, Rand is a singer, not an engineer. That's right. Um, not going to see how fast nuclear fuel is. All right, sure. I'm so I'm enjoying running so fast that uh, I uh, guess I haven't been doing that. Uh, let me actually I, I haven't checked that. Let me uh, speed these belts up real quick too. There. What am I doing? Upgrade. Upgrade all the things. There. Okay. All right, there we go. That should get more stone. I'm apparently gonna probably need to get more stone. All right, let's go see how the tank is. Last thing, last thing. Joyride in a nuclear fueled fricking tank. See if it's as fast as I run with five leg things. Drive the tank into my nuclear reactor. There's a plan. Alright. Alright, tank. Nuclear fuel. Um, I guess my... What I wonder is... Does it, do I need to use up the current fuel that's in there before the nuclear fuel starts going? Yeah, we're, we're driving slower than we run. Yeah, I think we probably have to burn through the other fuel, honestly. The guns on the tank is almost redundant. Just run over everything with nuclear fuel. Take out old fuel. Well, I did. I don't know how to, like, get that out. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go run over some aliens, I guess. Or some bugs. Until all of a sudden we move faster. Just burn the fuel. Burn it. Okay, and before we go run over aliens, let me save because I'll probably die because apparently I just always die every time I go out to fight aliens or bugs anymore. You make the red line go away by joyriding. All right, let's joyride it. Okay. Top speed better, you know, acceleration 200%, but does impact top speed? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. All right. Hopefully guns are redundant. Let's see if we can just ram everything. Oh, we don't have the good fuel yet, actually. We're not using the other stuff. So guns are not yet redundant. And that's a cliff. Okay. Are we into this new stuff yet? Almost. Almost. Acceleration is needed after running over things. Do you not have repair kits and robots? Oh, of course I do. I just don't leave my robots on when I'm getting attacked because the robots will die. Because that is, I believe, the correct way to do it. I lost a bunch of robots earlier. I don't know if that was from when I died or what. But... You never knew that. <laughs> Alright, I think I think we are using the good fuel now, right? Okay, we are. Whoops. Oh come on, put it in the tank, please. There it is. Alright, here we go. So we're still slower. Okay, I don't know that guns are really redundant, honestly. No matter how good my acceleration is, it seems like we can still be stopped from, with enough poison stuff. Oh god. Especially when there's frickin' cliffs hiding. Oh my god. How the hell are you supposed to see that? Everything is frickin' brown and gray, you damn... ...game. How do you turn robots off? Toggle personal roboport. Uh, do you see this button right here next to the red button? Toggle personal roboport. Or Alt-R. I need Spider-Tron, that's right. 
Well, that is our next stream. Our next stream, we're going to get Spider-Tron. So we have nuclear fuel. We have nuclear uh, uranium rounds. Next time, we'll have to get Spider-Tron. And apparently, you can put, like, the uh, same robot or uh, power armor upgrades on the Spider-Tron. So that'll be... The next stream will be dedicated... Wow. Poor wall. Whoops. Next stream will be 100% dedicated to Spider-Tron. Because I feel like... We're gonna need to get blue blue circuits upgraded and probably some copper and iron upgrades, but we are going. Let me go park down by the uh, park down by the nuclear power stuff. I can remember what we worked on. You can take away legs while you're driving and replace them with more lasers. Are you talking about on the Spidertron? You never knew that in a thousand hours. You never knew that that the toggle personal RoboPort button. That's funny. Of course, that's one thing you get when you're streaming. People tell you stuff. You just have two suits of armor. Your running suit and your driver's suit. <laughs> now that's, that's a pretty interesting idea. All righty, my friends. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Factorio. Sorry I got a little salty. But, you know, that's just what happens. I get salty and my brain fries. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, this weekend on Sunday. I'm probably going to play a little bit of Monster Train earlier and early. And then we have our last RPG session before Christmas. Uh, so this, if you do want to watch some D&D &D with me and Shogi and friends, come hang out this Sunday at 3 p.m. my time. We'll be playing about three or four hours usually, and that'll be our final final, uh, final D&D stream until, uh, until after the holidays. So thank you all again for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, next Monday will not be a stream. I have a, I have a Christmas caroling gig, so I most likely will not stream at all this coming Monday. So no, no viewership created ships next week. Sorry to say, but it is getting to that Christmas caroling time where I'm going to be missing a lot of streams. So, uh, but we'll be back to normal stuff after that. So again, y'all are amazing. Can never thank all you wonderful folks enough for the best of all the subs, give the subs, the lurking, all the wonderful, awesome, amazing stuff. Y'all do sports stream. You know, I wouldn't do it if it weren't for you. That's right. Come by Monday for chair stream. So, but y'all have a great rest of the night. Peace out. Happy gaming. Y'all rock. Later, my friends. Have a great weekend, all. Happy Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, too, by the way.